On today's Career Tips for Actors, I'm back with Evan Michaels and we're talking about creating a brand on social media. Happy Tuesday! I am back this week with Evan Michaels of Social with an Eye Consulting, also our illustrious social media and marketing director here at Workshop <laughs> Guru. And the response to the last two weeks' videos have been amazing. Yay! Good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm very glad. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us again. Of course, of course. Today we are going to talk about how to build a brand on social media. That's a question that we get from a lot of actors, and Evan is here to demystify that process for us. For sure, yeah. <laughs> so before we get started, can can you clarify for us why exactly a brand is important for actors? For sure. A brand is important for actors, just like a type is important for actors for casting. Uh, people like consistency. They like knowing who it is they're going to follow, they like what they're going to get, the kind of person that you are. Mm. Um, just like casting wants to know who, the, what the kind of person you are when they're casting you. Right. Mm. I see. Okay, so yeah, cool. Know your audiences. Right. Mm. Totally. So if I have a specific brand, people know my personality. They know, they know what they're going to get. Who, Got it. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think that for people who have a specific brand, they also just have more followers naturally because people know. Yeah. Cause it's not like they're not trying to appease everyone. Like it's right. just, they're, they're specific and they know what their brand is. They know like what content to put out that will get the most results because they have such a, like a great follower of following. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Cause it's, in some ways it's counterintuitive. You're like being more specific exactly. yet somehow appealing to more people. Exactly. Because because they, it's because it's easier. And it's the same thing with acting. Like, you know, when you really get can, like zero in on like mm. the shows you want to be on your target list, all of a sudden it works better. No, it's mm -hmm. so true. For sure. Cool. So what are your tips? <laughs> How do we develop a brand? Okay. Now? The easiest way is to know, like want to put out your personality, which I think we talked about a few videos ago. Like yeah. if you like makeup, put out things that show that you like makeup because sure. the people that are following you will also like makeup. So to make that easier for you is choose like one to three things that you're really passionate about, that you're really good at, that if you're uh, talking, if someone brings it up in conversation, you can have a 20 minute conversation super easy and not have to work <laughs> at all because that will naturally come out when you're talking to someone. Okay. Number two is to keep the same look and same feel and same imagery across all your profiles. That way if someone comes across your Facebook and your Twitter, like they'll recognize like, oh, that's this person. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Do you think it's important to have the same profile picture on all your profiles? Yes, it is good if you're going to keep with that same brand. Okay. Um, like I still tell some of my clients, like if you're going to have two different brands, like you're putting out two different st styles of content, mm -hmm. then you're basically doubling your work because you have to split those. And so if it's doing like, you know, if you have like a personal and a, and a professional, maybe have two different profile pictures. Sure. But if across all your professional websites, like your Facebook fan, fan page or your Twitter page or your YouTube page, yeah. have the same profile picture. It's easy. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And any more tips? And number three is to go right now and reserve your name on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Vine, like everything that you can get about right, Snapchat, uh, Periscope, Pinterest, just Instagram. go get Instagram, <laughs> just get your name. If you have a common name, then try to add like one or two at the end of it, or maybe even actor or the first name, last name, um, or even like official, a, a, first official first name, last name, and you can even switch them. Just go get them because you will <laughs> hate yourself when like, oh, you finally feel good about what the stuff you're putting out and you're, you're going to go get a Twitter and it's already taken. Yeah. And so that's, totally. it's disappointing. That actually happened to me. Oh. Not with Twitter. Okay, good. But I wasn't <laughs> able to get just Asia Ray on Instagram and I'm still mad about it. Wait, someone took that? Like, yep. <laughs> it happened. I'm trying to get at Evan on Twitter, except it's owned by some guy who I think works for a company in like, like, like Austria, India, yeah, like or India. It was like some, 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 some place that it just like has no, uh, Evanston, it, it, it has like, like he doesn't do anything. It's like some tech company that doesn't actually ever, anyway. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're bitter. A but it's bit, okay. You can go reserve your name yes. across all your right profiles now. right now. Go. And, and, also, and also be sure to go get like your name.com or .net. Yes, your go get your website. Even <laughs> if you don't have it or, you know, or don't have a website ready, just go get it and then redirect it to your IMDb page. It's the easiest, easiest thing to do. But like, go get it right now. Words of wisdom. Okay. So you mentioned something uh, earlier in the video mm -hmm. that I want to go back to. And that was type. Mm -hmm. So what is the difference between a type and a brand? Let's just be really mm -hmm. clear about that. A type is your cast ability. Like the, the things that casting directors think can see when they immediately look at you and you, the things that you could play very easily. Your brain is your personality. The, the things that you're really passionate about, the things you can have a 20 minute conversation easily about. Like for me, I know my type is like the best friend, the nerd, 
Like not like no. the, the, the next sort of kid, <laughs> um, the quirky the quirky kid. Um, but I know that my brand are things that I'm passionate about. I really like social media, like obviously. I really like coffee, and I really like <laughs> Harry Potter. And I, so on my my brand across all my pages, in addition to posting like, hey, I'm in this show at Second City, or I am doing yeah. this class, or whatever. I also post like really funny quirky things about like coffee or Harry Potter or social media, and awesome. that just that's because it's my personality. That's yeah. you know, if someone was going to talk to me in person, that's what they're going to get. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So I would say. Hmm. For me, my type would probably be like the professional, you know, mm-hmm. like the lawyer or like the detective uh-huh. or something like that. My brand. I mean, you put out these helpful videos. Helpful so videos. Like, helpful for is sure. one. Um, um, fun dance videos. Of course. Like actually, fun. Of course. Because you had that, the, that dance series last year. Yes. And uh, like, I mean, I've seen your Instagram, so I guess food <laughs> would be a good one. And it's like <laughs> it's it's the, that, that kind of thing. If someone came up to you in a party and was like, I tried this new recipe the other day. Oh my God. Yeah. I love to cook and entertain and go to restaurants. Then boom, you can have like a great conversation. That's your brand. Totally. Mm -hmm. Cool. So helpful videos, fun and food. Exactly. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Any, any final tips? Just be consistent. Like, don't try to go against your brand. Um, like, you know, be positive on it. Don't try to go negative. Like, one of the worst things that you can do is because it's against most brands that it, it looks so terrible when you do that. It's supposed to like negative political things <laughs> on social media because that. That you're already pissing off st- someone. Someone's going to look at that and be angry at the fact right. that you posted it, as opposed to you post something like a positive like comment about say like a candidate or whatever and the people who don't like that they'll be like okay whatever and the people that do like that will be like yeah great like that's that's you know who i'm supporting so just don't be negative because you're already like alienating a certain portion of your audience right like no no one really you don't click unfollow if someone supports the other person but you do click unfollow if they're going like you know bashing against the person exactly (laughs) Mm -hmm. totally makes sense Mm -hmm. awesome (laughs) thanks evan for sure cool so if you're watching this video and you think that one of your friends could benefit from this please feel free to share and be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the link on the screen (laughs) <laughs> and if you'd love to work with Evan personally, visit socialwithaneye.com and sign up for a free consultation. I would definitely take advantage of this if you haven't already. It's 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do it. Thanks for joining us this week and we'll see you next week on Guru Tips for Actors. Cool. Bye. Bye.